All right, we're gonna work on learning the arpeggios here to Blue Monk. This is kind of like lesson 1B when we're starting to learn uh, how to solo on this thing. We, we touched, touched on the blues scale last week and we talked about how crucial it is to get um, rhythmic and swing things happening and feeling good. And really, I think that's more important to a good solo than uh, the right notes. But now we're gonna start working on playing the changes like all great jazz players do. So. We learned our scales and we learned our chords that go to this tune. Now we're gonna play arpeggios. And arpeggio is when you just play the notes of the chord one at a time, like this. So I'm gonna put the recording of Blue Monk on and your job, your homework, is to learn the arpeggios and be able to play them along with the chord changes. Every time we have a chord change, you'll play one arpeggio, starting off by playing them in quarter notes. All right, here it comes. That's simple enough, right? No problem. Should have that worked out in a couple tries. Try to memorize it, because I think that'll help to get the chords solid under your finger. And then once you got that, do it in eighth notes, because eighth notes swing a lot better than quarter notes. So eighth notes is gonna sound like this. And I'm resting wherever there's not a chord change for now. your practice if you shed those things for this week you're going to be well equipped next week to start playing over the uh what we call the guide tones or the really cool effective notes on these chords shed your arpeggios this week and we'll pick up next week